Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Classic. So a couple of things are different, including our location. We've gained a level and we've actually made about halfway progress through the next level. As far as where we put that talent point, um, we did go, we went ahead and we put it into anticipation just to have some kind of additional defense while we're focusing more on damage thought it might be a good idea and we were also able to find a group to kill more Ladim. I happened to be in the area and someone was looking for more so I'll go ahead and loop in some footage of that for you guys And we're going to turn this in. Hey there. I don't blame you if you're having trouble with him. Some of our strongest watchers have been lost to Morladim. No, we got him. You killed him? That's no small accomplishment. On behalf of the people of Darkshire and the Night Watch, I thank you. Ah, there is one small matter, however. I should have told you this earlier. How do I put this? Morgan may have believed that his family was all dead, but, in fact, his daughter Sarah Lattimore is now a Watcher. She's always been troubled by the circumstances surrounding her father's death. Perhaps you could go and bring the news to her. Speak with Watcher Sarah Lattimore. Okay. Farewell. Well, she's probably not going to like that news. Oh, she's right here. Well, that's easy enough. Greetings. Oh, she knows, obviously. Yes. My father. I wish there was something I could have done for him. If only I had talked to him before he... Here, take this and lay it on his grave. Maybe, somehow, he'll know that I'm okay and that none of us hold him responsible for what happened. There are tears in her eyes now as she slides a ring from her right hand and presses it into your hands. And thank you. So we're going to deliver the ring. Ooh, this is actually a, <laughs> an amazing reward for us right at this moment. Wow. Hey, that's awesome. Look at that. How would you say that? Arcarus? Archerus? Archerus? Probably Archerus. That's a badass sword. Safe travels. And I'm assuming it's just going to be the grave that started all this, right? Behind the Ravenhill Cemetery? Unless my memory is totally failing me. So I'm going to head that way and see if we can get this completed and all wrapped up. It would be nice to finally have all the quests here wrapped up after what seems like a very long time. should probably talk a little bit about uh, some of the things I've had to do between episodes here. So I have worked on our first aid. We now have heavy silk bandages. So I got a comment that let me know that if we went into Stormguard and we made an immediate right it would be okay there are actually friendlies in that area and then you just have to cross over the bridge it's all pretty simple once you realize that the enemies there are not enemies but friendly storm guard guards so we now have that and we also have the book for mage weave bandage but we need to get to level 210, so a couple more skill ups. And we'll be able to start using Mage Weave Cloth. Not that we have. We have one in the bank. I'm fairly certain. Oh, 
Uh, also, I spent some time fighting mobs to kind of grind up a level. We got a couple of BOEs that we don't need that I'm trying to sell. And then we got these boots, which were actually an upgrade for us. And these, I got like four or five green bind on equips, just killing cats and Stranglethorn as a way to get us, uh, get us a level and push things along here. Because we're kind of at a slump where we, it's been a while since we've had one zone where we could do a bunch of quests in. We've been having to hop back and forth, as you can see between zones that are pretty far away and take a considerable amount of travel time. And to me it's just not as engaging or really as entertaining as when you can just do quite a few quest arcs in one zone consecutively, you know? So that there is actually the feel of continuity that you want when you're trying to be immersed. But for right now, uh, we're doing what we have to do. And that means circling around and globe trotting to wrap up quests like this that have been hanging along in our quest log just a, a bit too long. I will say the world is great without level scaling. It's nice to be able to come back to these areas and feel like things have a healthy respect for us crushing their undead skulls in. Oh, as soon as I say that. Of course, we get a couple of greens. I think we can make short work of these guys. We'll do that. And you can get a look here. Having sweeping strikes up actually does a considerable amount of damage to the second mob. Like, almost the same damage you can see we have to be able to finish them off. I think that's going to be very clutch in any situation where we have an additional mob like that. I'm excited about it. Uh, where am I at here? Need to be going this way. If this is the grave I thought it was. There's a couple different graves up here. And it's been a while since we have been engaged with these quests, like I said, so it's kind of hard to remember. Sometimes which grave is which. Now is this the grave? Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. A ghostly voice sounds on the wind. This is... Sarah? Could it be she's still alive? The weight is removed from my shoulders. Take my sword, Arcarus. As my soul has put the rest, I have no more need for it. It was forged to do good, and though I have proved myself unworthy to hold it, perhaps you will carry on the light through it. Yeah, uh, we will carry on. That's pretty good. That's like a perfect way to wrap things up. Oh, look at this. My sword archer served me well. What was he saying? My sword archer served me well in life, but as but as at last my spirit may pass from the unhappy from the unhappy existence, I need it no longer. I shall cling to the love of my daughter and hope that I will find forgiveness under the light for my sins. Okay, cool. There it is. And it has a chance on hit. Chance on hit, blast a target for 85 arcane damage. That's pretty sweet. Pretty big upgrade over what we had. I'm incredibly happy about it. It's very timely. Seeing as how we just started our journey as an arms warrior here. Very, very timely. Okay, next we're going to be heading down into Stranglethorn. That's where I've been killing cats and things just to gain levels, but it turns out that there are a couple of quests there that are at our level. And if we get to level 35, it might open up more for us there. So, yeah, Stranglethorn it is. And as always, if you guys have any thoughts of where we could start leveling 
at this level, I'd be all ears. I've checked Stone Talon and there's no quests there for us that aren't gray. Um, and I think Stranglethorn might be our best bet right now. But we'll see. We are down at the Rebel Camp in Northern Stranglethorn. And we are going to start with a couple of quests. I've been in this area for a little while. Like I said, I spent yesterday killing various kinds of cats to get a level here and check things out and see if we could do some questing here. And it looks like we can. So we have the second rebellion. We need to kill 15 Curzon jungle fighters. We're fighting a losing battle with Colonel Curzon. Not only is he a brilliant tactician, he outnumbers us at least 10 to 1. To survive, we need to use his own covert tactics against him. Enter his camp to the east and kill his men, lots of them, and get out before reinforcements can close on you. And we have bad medicine. Bring seven jungle remedies and one venom fern to the sergeant here. We already have the venom fern, venom fern extract. To have a chance against Curzon, we need his healing support neutralized. He has gathered around him a large number of medicine men who heal his forces with jungle remedies and poison our fighters with venom fern extracts. We need those remedies to cure our own people, and we need a sample of those extracts to study so we can make our own remedies. Search the Curzon compound for both. His medicine men will have the remedies, and the extracts are probably stowed in some of the camp's supply boxes. So we need to take on the medicine men. I have fought a couple of these guys, and they heal themselves. And without any kind of interrupt right now, um, that's kind of a big deal for us. It's kind of a problem. So it'll be interesting to see how we can approach that, and if we could deal enough damage to negate their healing. We're going to find out. Uh, besides that, I love Stranglethorn Vale. It's one of my favorite zones, aesthetically, that I have lots of good memories of from my original experiences in vanilla. And I'm excited to be back here. It's just a gorgeous zone. Especially amongst the vanilla zones, it really is. And that's kind of good because from my memory, you can actually end up spending quite a lot of time here between the north of Stranglethorn and the south of Stranglethorn. So we do have a breadcrumb quest that takes us all the way to the southern tip of the area to Booty Bay, which is the goblin town there. It's a neutral town. And we're going to go down there eventually. Right now the quest is orange. So we're going to hang out up in northern Stranglethorn for a while. I kind of want to get to a point where we are a little bit out level for the quest we're doing, which isn't going to be right now, but I am going to continue to try to level grind in the area when I have free time just to get us one or two levels oh hello young panther I, I'm not forgetting about um, there's a camp a little bit back to our west and it's the Nessingwary expedition and they basically have a bunch of hunting quests to go kill the wildlife in the area. So as I've been running through here, I've already worked on several of those quests. It just made sense if I was going to spend a couple hours grinding that I do those kill quests. And we had to kill panthers, two types of panthers, two types of tigers, and raptors. So I've already worked on the beginning parts of those quest chains. Just because I just feel like it's a lot of killing and it's, as far as quests go, they're not very interesting lore-wise. They literally just want you to go out and hunt the animals and kill them to prove that you are as good of a hunter as they are. Which is good for experience, but... Okay, here's the medicine men. It looks like we've got a group here already fighting them. A human priest. I'd love to intercept one of these guys. And you'll get to see their heal firsthand here. He's gonna hit it any second. Maybe he doesn't have the mana to do it. He's a little bit down on mana. Let's actually track these. 
So they're supposed to have these jungle remedies. I believe we're getting these just directly from the medicine men. But we also need to take on 15 of the fighters. And we get to test out our new sword and our relatively new, new spec here. Which I have found the kill rate to be a lot faster. Usually when you're fighting something that's green is when you can really tell the difference. But as you guys can see, even at level mobs, if you could take them on a little bit quicker. Ooh, Mage Weave. It would be nice if these guys just dropped a shit ton of Mage Weave. That would really help us out. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the faster kill rate. Ooh, they tagged him. Well, don't leave him for us. Thank you. It looks like that group just cleared out the entire encampment. Except for this Curzon War Tiger. Like, who has a War Tiger? The Curzon Wrangler has a War Tiger. Um, that's great. It's an example of human hunter class long before humans were able to be hunters in, in the game. I like that. Well, if we're waiting for respawns, we might be here for a while. It might behoove us to try to get into a group, but those groups seem to already established. Well, let's go check out this little cavern at least and see what's going on out here. Probably nothing. Or, or, or something. Uh, we've discovered the stockpile. Oh, this is a little bit expansive, isn't it? These are commandos, 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 head shrinkers. We don't need these yet. But now we know where they are because you can almost be guaranteed that we'll be back. We'll be back to take those guys on. Probably after we deal with the fighters and get the jungle remedies, I would guess. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for somewhere that we can go where we can follow a chain, you know, a couple of chains for a few quests each. And just be in a zone for a while. Yeah, this place has been ransacked. Everybody's dead. Murdered in front of the fireplace. Three triplets. That was redundant. Um, yeah, we're going to just hang out until we get some respawn action. Well, they're slowly starting to respawn around the edges of town. I swear the ones I fought earlier, like, healed themselves to full twice. It's really interesting now that they're not doing that. But I'm not going to complain about it. Because it is good for us. Ooh, we don't really want... Well, we could. We could take on multiple with, with sweeping strikes. It still feels a little risky. It still feels a little risky. Assume we would take double the damage and that they would both run away. And it just, it starts to feel a little risky. If when we get plate, when we hit level 40 and we get plate, then that might change the way that we play a little bit because we might be a little sturdier than we are now. In fact, I expect that we will be. And then we might be able to intentionally do things like pull multiple mobs. We'll have to see. 
It seems like a really bad drop rate off these medicine men too. See, this guy just cast a renew on himself or something. You can see that he's healing a little bit over time. And by a little bit, I mean it's still actually a pretty substantial amount that he's healing. Oh, that was a nice crit though. Alright, at least they're not healing themselves to full. Ooh, we're getting the pages. We need to be collecting all these pages, and I need to be sending them to my bank alt before I log off, because if I don't, uh, they're going to be filling up our inventory. We're going to read it when we get all the pages compiled. Well, that was nice that we were able to get that charge in. I guess it takes a minute after they respawn for them to become even remotely coherent. They're probably trying to expunge memories of their most recent vicious death at the hands of an adventurer. I still never know how I feel morally about these quests where they're just like, Hey, go kill these guys. They're assholes. And I'm just like, yeah, sure. I'll go into their houses and murder all of them for you. Like, I don't know. It seems like my character doesn't really have a lot of justification most of the time. And he tends to just take other people's word for things when it comes to the social and political situations. It's not like we're going to go try to talk to these people. You know, we're just going to go into their houses and kill them. That's how shit it gets done in World of Warcraft. I totally understand that. It's just always seemed a little bit weird to me when we're in somebody's house. Basically just killing everybody that lives there. Whether it's troll tents or bandit huts. Now we could hit them with a fear if they start to heal. It's not a three minute cooldown though. But it's better than him he healing to full, which he was totally about to do. And he's probably still gonna do. Oh, we got the execute! Alright, let's do this so we don't die. That was a close one. He almost healed himself to full, and I don't know that we would have survived both these guys. Hell, we might not survive this guy. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait! Guys, he phased through the wall? Oh, no. Oh, no. We might go down here, but we're going to try to run away. I don't know if we're actually going to get away, but let's try to bandage up. We have heavy silk bandages now. We might as well use them. I, this guy is still chasing us. Now, this is the guy who went through the wall. Oh, he reset. What a waste. That was weird. I thought he was going to go upstairs. He did pull the guy from upstairs, but he actually just phased through the wall and ran away from us. <laughs> Welcome to Classic. I'm getting these apples from the Halloween event that's going on, and let me tell you how awesome I think the Halloween event is. I think the Halloween event is the best thing ever. Uh, I have fond memories of the Halloween event. I remember there were times when I didn't play much WoW when I would log in just when I knew the holiday events were going on for Halloween. And yeah, I love seeing all the pumpkins. Right now we're, we're bobbing for these apples. And throughout the years, you know, they've done different types of events. Obviously the Headless Horseman is probably one of the most popular Halloween events they've done. Here's his heal that you'll see takes him right to full. Now he can technically do this twice. And I've seen them prioritize it and do it twice. And we'll see if he will. At the same time, they can't do a lot of damage to us, but when a monster you're fighting heals twice to full health, um, it kind of sucks. Yeah, he's going to do it again. Tell me how annoying this is. It's the it's like the one huge drawback I have found to not having a sword and board is that we literally lose our only interrupt. And I, I, I know we get another interrupt. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure we do. I just don't know when. And like right now, it's really hurting us when we take on a healer. It's just hurting us so bad. This fight that should have been over a long time ago is in fact still going on. Courtesy of him healing to full twice. And us having no way to deal with it. So there's a jungle remedy finally. 
And so we need to get a way to deal with that sooner rather than later. I'm going to do some research and just check when we can expect to get another interrupt. Because right now we have nothing. Unless we want to see him do it and trust that we could throw on a shield really quick. And then we could pop into, you know, we could... Yeah, I mean, is that how we need to deal with this? Do we just need to have the shield at the ready? And just be ready to, like, manually shield bash him? I think that's what we have to do. Um, but what we don't have to do is work on our unarmed skill. Let's get this bad boy equipped. I think that's going to be the only thing we can do. And then we'll have to switch back. But it's going to be better than letting him heal to full twice. So I guess I shouldn't complain about the dancing and equipping. Because it's better than letting him heal to full twice. I guess we could check upstairs. I feel like we've... No, we have not cleared this place out. Look at how fast they're respawning now. And we missed. <laughs> we fucking missed. Also, these need to be like together somehow. So I can just go one, two with them. I think it can work if it doesn't miss. We're probably about to find out. Well, we got it, but we were too late. I don't know if this strategy is going to work. It's like we have only a split second to react and we're like you have to wait the global cooldown in order to hit the shield bash. So once you equip the shield, you have to have the time to get through an entire global cooldown. Um, and his cast is just about the same length of time. I think we're going to do that for now. <laughs> and he's probably just going to do it again anyway. But yeah, nothing's stopping him. This is... This is arduous and bad. I don't want to say I regret going arms, but um, coming up against this and not having a way to deal with it is atrocious. It's atrocious. Like, he can only do it twice, but I mean, it just takes so long to kill him after that. We gotta get four more of these things. And just hope that every encounter is not exactly like that one, I guess. I feel like this can work, I'm just not fast enough, you know? Shit. And we just didn't have rage that time. There's so many things that are going to go wrong trying to do that. There's so many things that are going to go wrong trying to do that. You're either not going to be fast enough or you're not going to have the rage for it. These guys are just going to suck to fight. And that's it. And our only option right now is to just go back to, uh, to protection spec. Don't really want to do that just because we're having trouble with some healers. But I don't know. Ah. 
And technically, I think he could do it again right now. Let's not give him the opportunity. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, we gotta get out of this house, man. We gotta get out of this house. There's another page. All right, well. Now we just have to be more careful and hopefully not pull one after the other after the other as the respawns stack on top of us. And of course we come back out here and there's nobody out here. Of course. Yeah, with your slower swing, it's really sometimes painful when you miss one of those big ol' swings and they keep running. A lot of the fighters are just on the outskirts of the camp. If you kind of make a ring around the camp, uh, you'll find a lot of the fighters with the medicine men being more in the middle of the camp. Which makes perfect tactical sense. Actually. No you don't. Just go to sleep. Alright, let's see if we can go back to this house, which seems to be the main place to find medicine men. Uh, they got a group here, they're okay. Oh, we got him. We got him. So if we can output enough damage... If we can output enough damage, we can take them out before they heal, but barely. It's so close, you know? And I think it relies on us having both of our bleeds up on him as well. Yep, we're in for another long one there. Now we have now we have deep wounds and rend. And that's gonna make this a lot easier. Yeah, look at that big crit. And he's down. At least they're dropping the remedy pretty regularly now that they started dropping it. At first they weren't dropping it at all. And now they've kind of started to. Pretty consistently, it's good to see. Oh, 
After dealing with the medicine men, these guys are like a joy to deal with. Sometimes they have questionable pathing, but when you're about to die, I guess you might run out of wall. Is that guy going to be able to take out those two medicine men? Probably not. He's a warrior. Is he in a group with this hunter? I don't know. He's running. I'm worried that if I engage with them, they might heal my fighter up and they'd probably still kill both of us. I don't know if we'd be able to help out very much there. This guy is getting healed. Isn't he? Who's healing this guy? This guy is healing. Oh, we got right onto their chain. Isn't that a bitch? <laughs> Isn't that a bitch? We're not even going to be able to kill this guy, are we? Yeah, we got to book it. We did end up on that guy's aggro chain somehow, and I, I all I did was look at them and talk about them. <laughs> oh, man. And now we're going to die somehow. I really don't know how we ended up on his chain. This guy had just respawned. We watched the fighter respawn. And we watched him run off with those two medicine men who were gray for us. This guy is not going to reset. That's incredible. I'm going to go ahead and say bugged. Well, that seemed a little bit buggy, but that's just the nature of the beast, I guess. Maybe it was karma for not immediately jumping in and helping him out. But I didn't think that there was a lot we could do. As you saw, we ended up having to run anyway. Even after using our own fear, we still had to run, and not only did we have to run, we didn't make it. So I stand by my original decision that we weren't going to do any good trying to jump in there anyway. But somehow, we ended up a part of it. Is he down? Yeah, I think he's down. They can all phase through these walls in like weird and interesting ways. It's quite an ability they all have. When was the last time we completed two quests in the same area like this, guys? Feels like it's been a while, huh? Well, we can grab our last fighter right here. But then we still need a few medicine men. And I'm sure it's not going to be 100% drops, so... We'll see how many we actually need and how much of a pain they manage to give us before their end. Another combat shield. I've had one of these. I think we're trying to sell it. It has a lot of strength on it. It would have been good for us when we were sword and boarding. By the time we sword and board again, we might be too high of a level to use it. Unless we continue to have problems with the interrupts, and then maybe that time will come sooner than we think. Uh, I don't want this. Head shrinker. 
But I guess he's mine now. We'll just hope that he can't heal. It doesn't it looks like he's using shadow magic of some kind. Which did quite a bit of damage, actually. We got it that time. I guess, I guess like just saving your rage and waiting because you're either going to be able to shield bash them or if they don't do it then you can just execute. Hey, we figured it out. Just requires surprise patience. Something that we're not particularly good at but we can hone and develop. I feel like hanging out in this house might be our best opportunity at Medicine Men just because they seem to respawn so fast in here. That doesn't mean no one else has figured that out. Well, that was unfortunate. I had hoped to tag both those guys. It's really nice to see the server so lively and so many players out and about on a Saturday morning. Sometimes it kind of sucks uh, waiting forever for respawns. I mean, that's true, but it's nice to see the game vibrant and alive. Let's see if we can manage this one. Wasn't sure if we were ever going to swing again. But we finally have all of our remedies after fighting many an annoying medic, or rather medicine man. We got them all. And now I'm just like really concerned about getting another interrupt that we can actually use in battle stance. Because without that, life is going to become unnecessarily hard sometimes.
but the improved kill rate with our current build is uh, is pretty impressive. I, I like it. It's a good change of pace. I'm not going to go as far as to say that it's better because, like I said, we've ran into some issues where having a shield really would pay off. Let's turn these two in. See what's next. Well met. Well done. The loss of those jungle fighters will relieve some of the pressure on our camp. But now that you've had a taste of the forces you're up against, do you still want to throw your lot in with us? I don't have a choice. I want experience and rewards, so yes. Well done. These remedies will keep more of us alive and in fighting shape. All the extracts will help us create our own remedies. We'll just take the one-hander because it will vendor for more. And then we have special forces. Now that many of his regular troops are reduced, you must face his highly trained forces. When they're not in the wilderness slaughtering our rebel, sol rebel soldiers, they are found deep in the back of the Curzon compound in a cave they call the Stockpile. I know many of Curzon's troops personally, and I know they are skilled, loyal, and cruel. This is no easy task I set before you. After you defeat them, report to Lieutenant Doran, my commanding officer. He will want to report firsthand. And now we go kill ten commandos, six head shrinkers. Safe travels. Which we could definitely do. Uh, but oh, and then what does a brother Nimitz have? What can I do for you? Curzon's mystery. Colonel Curzon was once a great noble man. I must find what caused his fall into depravity. He may be under the sway of troll magic. To confirm this, I must study some of their legends. There are four tablets hidden within the troll ruins of Stranglethorn. I must see what is written on these tablets. Transcribe their markings and bring the transcriptions back to me. The first tablet is in the Baalal ruins, the second is in the Bile Reef, and the third and the fourth are found in the ruins of Zulkunda. Have a good one. And so there are troll ruins all over. Here's Zulkunda and Balal. And then the Reef, I'm not sure where that one is. But we should be able to collect those uh, pretty easily. I think this is going to be a good spot to take a bit of a break. And when we come back, we'll just work on these two quests. Um, well, maybe we will. We know we should be able to do Curzon's... Uh, special forces at least those guys didn't seem like they were too out level for us and I'm probably going to grind out the rest of level 34 and hope that that makes these quests yellow for us so we'll see how that goes thank you guys so much for joining me today I really appreciate the support if you like today's video please go ahead and give us a like and if you want to see more wow content please subscribe and ring the bell it would help us out a lot until next time take care and we'll see you again soon